Hey everyone, it's Frankie Lou. Uh, I just thought I'd show you, as I often get asked what it's like to have poultry here in Southern Alberta, where the, we have long spells of minus 30 and lower uh, Celsius mornings. And oh, how do we do it? <laughs> it's worth it. I do love my creatures, but I just wanted to show you that this is not glamorous. Okay, <laughs> and you really have to be willing to do this kind of stuff if you are going to have these critters out here on our Canadian prairies. So first off, I'm geared up. I know this is not exactly a hot look. Angus says I look like a mushroom or a member of the Mario Kart family, <laughs> but you got to be warm, right? Because I'm going to be out here for several minutes and um, I could freeze up. So and then down here, what I'm out hauling out down here is uh, their grain and the water. And we're gonna head over this way to the coop. Here we go. Loyal dog always comes with me no matter what temperature it is. She's lovely. So this is, it's only minus 27 now, which is much warmer than it was earlier, but an hour ago. And as you can see, this is another feature of prairie life, the fortress. Um, we have to really protect our babies from the predators. So we have quite the fortress here. We have to really make it safe for them. And we have bobcats, we have weasels, we have uh, coyotes, foxes, owls, hawks. Okay, and when it's this cold out, the, the, the flock doesn't get to come out at all. I have a sort of a policy where I let them out when it's above minus 10 Celsius, and it's not gonna hit that until tomorrow. Okay, here's another feature. We used to have a heavy insulated door here, but now we do this. I used to work in the greenhouse industry and discovered that this is a much more effective way. It actually, it may not seem like it would work, but having two layers of bubble wrap, um, one on the outside and one on the inner door, um, really helps to both maintain the um, heat inside and it doesn't crack. The old door that we used to have would crack in this cold. Every morning I'm going to... Oh, you're getting uncovered, people. So you can see my babies, my lovely ones in here. This is insulated in here. Okay, but even with the insulation, a heat light, and two cozy coat panels, it's, the water still gets like this, my baby girl. All right, so let's get this water done. All right, it's not frozen solid today, so that's, you actually don't get to see me the real story. So, uh, ducks are extremely wet and I have to try to keep, there we go. So I have a lower part for them to splash around in a bit. And these maniacs will go in the water, even when it's minus, it grows uh, minus in the coop. I have to stomp off the bottom of the river. It's actually an easy one today. It's like I said, it wasn't frozen solid. Break off. These, these uh, rubber horse feeders are perfect because you can use the crap out of them and they don't break. Whereas these light ones are important, but you have to be really careful about because they crack in the hold. Nice uh, blend of layer pellets, cone, that's corn, oats, barley, some seeds in the morning, 
And tonight I'll give them a treat of scrambled eggs, peas, and corn to help them uh, survive the cold nights. These cozy coop panels are really great. Um, and the chickens in particular use them to cuddle up with when it's getting cold. I also try to keep this floor as dry as possible. Um, I'm going to put fresh hay on this again today so they have a nice clean layer that's dry and not wet and I have to keep doing that. I am expecting the wet temperatures to go up tomorrow and I will probably clean this whole coop out and start with a whole other fresh layer of bedding. The adding of fresh layers of bedding though is incredibly important to keep these guys dry and comfortable, particularly as there are chickens in here. Okay? Alright. Oh, go get some hay for them. And you'll see how much they love this stuff. I keep some of my hay right next to the coop here for easy access. I'm gonna have to refill it soon because we're almost out over here. Ugh. This is enough for, I like to put a couple little cook slices in for them. <sighs> Told you, it's not climbers. <sighs> it's beautiful though. It is beautiful here. I'm spreading out the hay. They get freaked out, but then they love playing in it. <sighs> They'll spread that around and playing it. It'll give them something to do as well. Because this must be boring in there. For, in here for them. They've been here in for about a week now. But we are expecting a break tomorrow. And they'll get to come out and have some fun. Uh, <laughs> and they do love it. You'll see they'll go right in for it. <laughs> and those are my babies. See you soon, guys. On days like today. <coughs> oh, the man. The cold is making my lungs freeze up. On days like today, I need to come out here a minimum of three times to change this water. Can I head in? You know, Luna wants to get inside. So do I. I know. Look at her. She's so patient. I love you. And another thing. Keep the coop close to the house. Because as you can see, it's not very far to go. And that makes a big difference. Okay, so there you go. That's what it is here. Um, love it, but it's hard work. Those guys are worth every minute of it though. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments. And I hope as always, you'll take this chance to grow together today. Have a good one.